check it like the water okay, before you buy it you, you find that you know the water and the mungo will definitely separate the mungo stuff will go down then the water will just be up so before you do that you need to shake it like shake it even though the, the, the she want you you need to shake it. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen from that short intro if you're watching me for the very first time my name is Angel Sinomba Miana currently and welcome to Monday videos actually um, Mondays I do food reviews so um, the last time I did a food review I did on the Chiwanto which is actually uh, a traditional beverage and I say that I'll come back with um, Mkoyo which is actually another traditional beverage so there's no intro. I already did the intro. So this is the beverage that I've been reacting to. As you can see, it's called it's Jacob's um, Mungoyo. As you can see, yeah. So this thing, I, I actually, you know, I was supposed to shoot a video on Monday, but I went into town. I couldn't find the Mungoyo. I went as far as Soweto Market. So if you know where Soweto Market is, I know. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. So um, there's actually Chiwanto and the Mungoyo. So that for the Chiwanto part, the, the the link is in the description box. Just click on it and see my review. So today I'll be, you know, uh, reviewing the Mungoyo. As you can see, as you can see, it's called uh, Jacobs. There are actually two companies that make this. There's Toela and uh, there's uh, this one is uh, made of Jacobs because Toela have never tried the product, but Jacobs, it's mainly I do try the products. There's the Mungoyo, it was uh, uh, made of uh, Jacobs, yeah, he's the one who made the Mungoyo, but anyway, it's a traditional drink known by the tomb guys. The Mungoyo, so those are a trouble cousin, but anyway, yeah, so you know how we do it. We first look at the ingredients, what is it made of, so that you at home you can also make it for yourself. Mind you, there are those that the my lips are dry, there are those that they sell on the streets. Yeah, so like those are homemade, but this one is actually made by a company uh, known by as uh, Jacobs. So um, here on the on the bottle, I just want to read out the ingredients so that at least you can also make it at home. So um, the goat, no more water. Yeah, I mean, shy enough. The black water that comes from the top. Yeah. So and um, the Mongolia roots. I don't know because I tried to search the Mongolia roots, roots last time, but I didn't find them online. And then the, we've got maize, the normal maize. And then we've got sugar, you know, sugar. And then, yeah, so like those are the only ingredients. So right here, I can, you know, I, I, as you can see, this one it's brown compared to the Mongolia, the Mongolia, the, compared to the Chiwant, because the Chiwant last time it was white. So this one it's a bit brown so yeah let's do the testing in case you cannot make this yourself your wife can't make it for you they have their number it's written here yeah so it's made at uh, it's made from home of chisha's kitchen so it is what it is so it's really yeah even the numbers are there uh, to contact them and the, their shop is uh, los angeles road new soweto plaza at number 90, 90 so this is why you can find their shops this is why you can order them but you can also order them in kamala market just nearby here near government complex yeah you can order these yeah so what's this oh this is my mask anyway yeah so oh my, my, my lips are dry like my lips are dry but anyway it is what it is so before you open them you need to shake it like you shake it like the water okay before you buy it you find that you know the water and the moon will definitely separate the moon coil stuff will go down then the water will just be up so before you do that you need to shake it like shake it even though the the she want you you need to shake it and you know when you order from uh from the uh, shop you find that it's even sealed on top here with the plastic but this one i just bought it uh to one of the sellers on the street so yeah so i think i'm pretty sure it's out yeah, before you do that, you need to wash the bottle. You know, Corona is real. You know, a lot of people will touch in the process of, you know, like choosing which one they want. So this is the one, like, I am shaking it right now. I'm shaking it. Yeah, so this is the Mungo. This is how it looks on the on the car, on the paper, where they did their, their branding and stuff. So that's how it looks. Let's do the testing. 
so whenever you are opening you know this thing has to be a bit tight so if it's loose just know that it's not made by you know this company you know there are a lot of people that will want to make this you know for business purposes but it has to be sealed So I have my look up here, you know. So you need to pull it it's a bit thick because I had put it in the freezer. Yeah, so we do the closing. So let's do the testing. You know it's really nice but sweet yeah it's really nice I've messed up my mouth like <laughs> so okay, what can I say about this okay the mukara is really nice but it's a bit sweet which is actually okay, it's it's normal somehow but the seller told me that you know Jacobs is really sweet compared to Joella's so yeah Sometimes, you know, it tastes as if you are drinking um, this local beer, kach not, not kachasa, I don't know, lusaka beer, the one eh, shake shake, yeah, it, it tastes like that. So whenever you are in lusaka, I don't know where you are watching me from, whenever, just ask, um, look, if you are hungry, you are, maybe you are from Zimbabwe, Kenya, South Africa, you are here to order things, whenever you are in town, you are hungry, just ask, I am looking for Chibwandu. I'm looking for Mungo, definitely you're gonna be so. So it's it's it's, it's less than a uh, Zambia dollar. It's six in Zambia, okay, it's six pacha. So I don't know if it's six, I don't know what to call them, but it's less than a dollar because a dollar in Zambia is 14 pacha. So it's less than a dollar. Yeah, so yeah, it is what it is. Now, this thing is really nice, especially if you're hungry and you're in town. I hope you guys you will try that you want to. You know, like so far, Chiwanto and Mongkoyo are my best drink, like traditional drinks, you know, like they're the best. Yeah, so it is what it is. Mm. Hey, if you are a legend and you're watching this video, this is the, you know, a traditional drink that you can buy, you know, for your husband, you can buy it for your, you know, for your little, but even children, yeah, they can take this, you know, it's actually very healthy. Yeah, so you can even buy it for your, for your you know children or even the visitors you know those from the village they come and visit you or even those in town let them try out the the the, the munkoyo itself mm. but it's mm, i don't know this one is not actually fermented compared to the one i bought because the, the one i bought it was too much it was fermented i couldn't drink it you know so thank you for watching my video i hope you join me next time again i don't know what food we are going to do a review but on the a traditional beverage we are done on this one so as for me it's goodbye and god bless you